Hey, I'm Josh Reimer, and did you know that June is candy month? Of course you didn't. Why would you? Who decides this? I don't know. But what I do know is that there are some really weird options for candy out there, and this is my top 10 list of them. This chocolate bar has quite the eclectic list of ingredients, including black cumin, poppy seeds, red wine, oh, and pig's blood. Yeah, in the center of the chocolate. They call it soap and skim. And it sounds about as appetizing as eating those two things. The Genghis Khan caramel tastes like lamb. It doesn't actually contain any meat, but it's meant to taste like it does. Because why not mix a sweet caramel flavor with the spices and flavors of a lamb dish? I could think of plenty of reasons. You might have heard of or even eaten Pocky before, which is basically a breadstick covered in a flavor of chocolate, strawberry, men's. <laughs> they literally have a separate flavor for men. Why? Why not? You know what I'd love to eat? Ashes. But not just any ashes, sour black cherry ashes. Luckily for me, that actually exists. Someone thought flavored edible ashes was the thing that needed to be made, and then made it. The world is a messed up place. Peppermint candy canes are definitely out of season right now, but pickle candy canes are perfect any time of year. I'd actually really like to try this. I'm just curious what it tastes like to suck on a sugary pickle flavored stick. And clearly I'm not the only one. When you see a cat licking something, do you think, wow, that tongue looks tasty? If so, you might need some psychiatric help or just a box of these chocolates that are for some unknown reason in the shape of cat tongues. Cute. These grills candy will surely get you a lot of street cred when you put them on your teeth. Not to mention cavities. It's literally candy that you can put in your mouth for some delicious bling. I'd say this is stupid, but I feel like that might be too kind. I think I actually had this one as a kid. It's a soft, chewy candy with a wrapper that looks like clear plastic, but it's actually edible. After eating one, I then tried to eat many other plastic wrappings on candies afterwards. It explains a lot, doesn't it? If you're separated from your family at Thanksgiving, but you want to feel like you're still having the big dinner, you could get these gumballs that are turkey, cranberry, and pumpkin pie flavored. It's really just the turkey one that weirds me out. And finally, to go along with those gumballs, why not mix in some of these gravy candies? Again, somebody actually thought this up, people went along with it, and now it exists for you to buy. And my faith in humanity continues to drop. Thank you for watching the Sassy Scoop, and thank you to Volume Studio for taking care of my hair. I just wanna give them a big shout out, and if you're in the Vancouver area, definitely pay them a visit too. They're in the Gym Diva Plaza, or you can visit volumestudio.ca. And I'll be back again on Wednesday with another Sassy Scoop, so make sure you subscribe if you're new. Bye.